everybody, it's Kat Conrad, and today I'm going to do a little raw food demo for you You're going to, um, with some fruit. Um, this is called a durian fruit. So um, we're just going to, I'm just going to show you how to open one of these. You may have seen these in the Asian market, this is, which is usually where you get these if you don't live in Thailand or a place where you can get these, or somewhere in Indonesia or somewhere in the, um, in the east. Um, but you can usually find these um, in your Asian market in the freezer section. Um, sometimes they'll have them fresh, but usually you can find them in the freezer section. And you just, um, when you purchase one, just put it in the fridge for a day or two and let it thaw out um, before you try and open it. And um, the way to kind of pick these, it's, um, this one is kind of already started to open a little bit here. Um, you you um, just kind of have to look for a good, because there's little pods in here, if you can tell these little shapes are, there's pods inside of here. And so, and you have to be careful handling these, they're very sharp. Um, but each little section has um, a little pod inside. So, and they're separated by these kind of seams. So I picked one that had, and it's um, open more than it was when I, when I picked it out, but it was kind of open just a little bit and this makes it very easy to just pry open. If it's not like that, you can get a knife and try to open it, but you want to try and separate it um, along these places where the pods are. So um, I want to show you how to open this. Um, and if you've never had a durian, you will either love it or hate it. Um, and I happen to love these. Um, they have a very um, kind of strange flavor, especially if you're not used to them. They're very high in sulfur, which is really good for the skin and the hair. Um, so, um, but they do kind of have a sulfur smell and a sulfur taste to them. So if you're not used to that, um, it may take some getting used to. And also, once you um, open it and get the pods out, you might want to discard the outer, um, I don't know what you call this, a shell or whatever, um, and get it out of your house because it will it will have a strong smell to it. Um, anyway, and that's a nice way of putting it. Some people say it in a little different way. but um, So it'll come in this little bag, which is, which is a good, smart idea because, like I said, they are very sharp. So you just want to take that bag, obviously, if you can. <laughs> and you can use a little oven mitt to kind of help and not hurt yourself too bad kind of getting into these things. So, like I said, this one is already very, it's got a good head start. So all you do is just, just pull it apart like that, once it's started. And if it's not, like I said, you may um, have to take a knife, but um, if you can see this, you know, seam here, ugh, you kind of just stick your finger in and just kind of pry it. And inside, obviously, these are the little pods, and there's going to be there's going to be one more little section here. So I'll go ahead and open this. And you just pull it apart. So this, you just discard this. There's nothing inside that. That's just the the outer husk or whatever. Um, I think that's. Oh, there's another one. Yep. So this is what we have here, and inside. This is, this is the pot, and it just, it's very easy to remove. You got a little bit here, but you don't, I mean, you don't eat any of the rest of this. Put it in a bowl here. Just pull it out. And it kind of looks, it's kind of gross if you're um, a vegetarian or a raw foodist. It kind of looks like a chicken breast to me. I think it's kind of really gross looking, like a fatty, like the fat, really. Um, on chicken meat is what it looks like to me. If you can kind of show that, it's really what it looks like. It's very soft. See, I can just, you know, smush it with my fingers like that. And inside, um, that's just part of a little pod there. <laughs> this it looks like the little piece of fat on a chicken, which is disgusting. But um, anyway, <laughs> so inside of each pod is a little, well, kind of a large seed. And you just pull it apart. You can be neater with this if you want to cut it away and if you want a nice presentation. But really what most people do is just kind of 
you can just kind of get the pot out and then you know you can munch on the munch on the seed <laughs> and get all the rest of that off of there um, this is what you've got it's a really soft flesh and this one's a pretty good one it's got a little it's kind of this one was very ripe obviously because it was splitting um, and it has a few little you know brownish kind of discoloration but that's not that's not bad um, it's even got a little vein there um, <laughs> But again, you just you just pull it apart and grab that grab that seed out of there. And you can either just eat it as is, which a lot of people do, just eat it like this. And as you can see, it's really really creamy. Um, it has a consistency of like a pudding kind of texture. The flavor to describe it is kind of a like I said sulfur, so it's kind of a garlicky onion sort of um, flavor and smell but it's very sweet and very creamy so um, it does you know it might take some getting used to the flavor but once you if you love it um, you'll really love it um, and some people say it has kind of aphrodisiac kind of qualities I'm not sure about that but I just love the way it tastes and it does make you feel good when you eat it so um, and I don't know if it's just because it's so good but um, but you can just eat it like this, or you can cut it up and serve it with other fruit, or um, you can blend it and make more of a pudding um, texture. It doesn't need any additional sweetener, really. It's very sweet. Um, one thing that's really good with it is cinnamon, I think. Um, a lot of people add you know, other different flavors, um, but cinnamon seems to go really well with durian, so, um, or just plain. Um, I don't know what else to say about it, but um, go buy a durian. Don't be afraid um, to get one now that you know how to pick them and what to do with them. Um, take it home and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye.